Hello, everyone, and welcome to week seven of American Literature One. You're just about there. You only have a couple more assignments due. You only have a few more readings. I know you can get through this. Uh, just uh, message me whenever you have any questions or concerns. But uh, this week, I'm just going to go through some of the assignments that you have due next week. Now, this week, you have some of the readings, some readings to do. You also have a couple of quizzes, and you have a discussion about Frederick Douglass due this week as well. You also should be working on that research paper. It's not due this week. It's due next week, but it's worth a lot of points. It's worth 25% of your grade. So make sure to follow the directions that I gave to you in the paper projects area, but I'm also going to give you some more information right now about this final project. So I want you to start, continue working on it now. You should have been working on it all semester, but I want you to continue working on it now. Now, note that this needs to be four to five full text pages. Don't adjust the format in order to meet this page requirement because I'll just fix your format and then take off of formatting plus the length. So make sure you meet the length by properly formatting your essay. Don't do extra spaces between your paragraphs. I want this to be a properly formatted four to five full text page paper. Okay, note that you need to cite from the original source the primary source, and then three additional critical sources. These critical sources may not be any of these right here and ones that are similar. So I don't want to see schmoop. If I see schmoop, I'm going to be really upset. I will not be happy. I don't want to see spark notes or cliff notes or any of those sources in your essay. Not only do I want to see them cited, I don't want to see the safe assignment report stating that you've used those sources. Do not use any of those sources. I would like for you to try out JSTOR. I've showed you how to access JSTOR before, but there are other sources too to access, or other uh, databases as well to access sources. So in a moment after this video, I'm going to do a quick uh, review on library sources after I go through this. So it will be a separate video. Okay, so I don't waste your time by going through and signing in and everything to the library. I'll do that separately and then upload a new video. Okay, so let's go through the critical essay. Um, remember, these are the options that you should be using. I did not have anyone state that they were using these options. If you have, if you were planning on using these options, you have not given me a specific thesis statement yet. Okay, so if you are using one of the option two options, make sure to send me your thesis statement immediately so I can check it. Okay, most of you are using these sources. Now I want you to cite from the original primary work. So if you're using Whitman Specimen Days, I want you to cite from it. I want you to cite from Poe, Irving, or Melville. I want you to cite specifically from the primary source. Prove to me that you've actually read the source. You would not believe how many papers I get where I think to myself, I don't think this person has ever read Emerson or Douglas. And that's frustrating. I want you to read the work. If you're going to write on it and I have to read your essay, please read the work. Okay? So that's one thing you have due to this week. So you have a four to five full text, I mean next week, four to five full text essay, cited MLA style, and you're going to use Secondary sources that are scholarly that you're going to find in the databases or through Google Scholar. And you are not going to use any of these other sources. Okay? So let me know if you have any questions. I think most of you have been working on that all semester, though. Now let's go back to the announcements. You also have a final exam due next week. The final exam is from lessons 8 through 13. So let's go through the lessons. So it's everything that follows the midterm and thesis statement lesson. So you got the early romantics all the way through Lincoln and Whitman, and all of these will be on the final. Now you have a pretty good idea of what the final is going to be like because you saw the earlier midterm. The final exam is very similar, and the final essay will test your knowledge of the readings. 
So make sure you do the readings. Some of you, I think, have been skimping on the readings a little bit from what I saw with the midterm. I really want you to prove to me that you've actually been doing the readings for this course. Okay, there's not much here. I want to focus more on the second essay, which is helping you find sources. So I'm going to stop the video for now, and if you have any questions or concerns, please send me a message.